Hey guys, it's the new EV3, and I created a program, and it doesn't fall off this mat at all. I will show you the program afterwards, but now you can have a look at it. And now I shall show you the program. Hey guys, we are going to show you how to program that robot you saw before. So first you will need a loop. That would be found in the flow control. Loop, you drag it out and, and put it over. Where did it go? Oh well, who cares. You drag it at the play button and you would land it right here. Next, you need in the loop is move steering. That would be found in action, if I can click on it, and move steering. You would want to put this on, zero steering, and any speed you would like, as long as it's in the positives. Next up, we have the weight color sensor. That could be in, that would be found in flow control, weight, you click on time, color sensor, compare, and compare color. Then you could set it as many colors as you like and stuff. Well, not as many colors, the colors that actually work for the robot. I picked no color, black, and brown. I, I would I would need brown because without brown it would fall off because my hardwood floor is brown. Right? Next, this is totally optional. You don't need it. I just put it there for design. It, you would find it in action, brick status light. You have to be on. Any color you'd like, pulse on or off. It really, it's really up to you. It's totally optional. You don't need it. I just put it there because I wanted it there. Next, of course, is move steering. I already told you where it is, right here. And you want this to be zero. Negative. I put it to negative seventy-four. You can put it to negative whatever number you do like. Eh. Except the the exception is it has to be negative. And you should put this on for seconds, degrees, or rotations. As many rotations as you like. I put it for 1.5 because I would I just like it that way. Coast on or off. You would put it break or coast. Doesn't really matter. Coast would mean it wouldn't break at the end. That means it'd go farther without the motor stopping it. Break is just the opposite. And so, the number, uh, I mean, move steering again. On for rotation, seconds, degrees, anything you'd like. I put it for negative 64 because it would turn around, not at an exact U-turn, but somewhere close to that. I don't want exactly. You can put it that way or that way. I just put it at negative 64. The power, you can put it at anything as long as it's in positive integers. Number of rotations, I put one. I don't know why, I just did. And yeah, break and coast. Uh, oh, oops. This one uh, is totally optional too. These two are the only optional ones really 
and that would be pretty much it so please like and subscribe if you want to see more and yeah